Welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Alan Joban and Jared Gooden. So, look at this one. Um, Gooden has a nice frame. He has, you know, good potential and good all this and good and that. But right now, that's why I say potential and this and that. But what I'm seeing from now, I'm not impressed. I mean, you, you can't wait your whole career to be in the UFC. Like, you, when you get the opportunity, you jump on it. You don't be like, oh, I'm going to wait till I'm 45 and now everything is good and I'm all perfect and all this stuff. Because that's just not realistic. So you got to go in there, you got to jump, and you got to prove that you are, or maybe you already are that good. It's just you haven't shown any of your fights yet. And then we get that UFC opportunity, you like, now I'm going to show just how good I am. But right now, Jaron Gooden has not shown me how good he is. Or for what I'm saying, I am not impressed, or at least for him versus Joe Ben. Maybe he was like a lower tier, for a low, lower tier opponent. Yeah, you know, probably was around the same level as him or same experience as him or debut in the UFC or maybe has some areas where he can dominate. Like I said, the guy didn't have good grappling or something or a guy just had terrible striking and decent grappling. He can neutralize the takedown and pick him apart or the guy, like I said, the guy had terrible grappling. He can just take him down and submit him. Like something like a fight that, you know, pretty much tailor made for you. Then that's a fight, some fights that could pad him and build him up. But the Joe Ban fight, I think is a little bit too soon for him. It's not the best matchup for him. Like I said, but from looking at um, Gooden, he does got some power in his punches, but it's like he doesn't fully know how to um, put it out there consistently. So a lot of times right there, his punches look like they pillows and stuff, not the best. They look slow motion. His grappling look kind of slow motion. It's, don't, it's like he's too, he's like kind of look like he's a little bit slow as far as speed wise. Not really, and not the power to even, um, you know, like the power to like, you know, you're, if you something like you're slow, but you're like super physically strong or have phenomenal power, it's not, it's not consistent enough. And who has he really been beating? Like, really not beating anyone. So, he already looking slow, not looking the best. Looking telegraphed. Like, the skills are there, but he just needs to pick the pace up a bit, train on that speed, train on that slow, and it's not there. And even outside of that, Joe Ban is more, much more technical striker and can neutralize his grappling and take his takedowns. And, like I said, just keep it on the feet and just pick, beat him on by and striking all day. This dog will walk him on the feet all day long. That's kind of what I see happening. I think Joe Ban, it might even mix and take down in there just for good measure to get some points. But I see Joe Ban stuffing the takedown and just picking him apart on the feet. And that's just all I see happening. Joe Ban stuffing the takedown relatively easy, no issue there, and picking him apart on the feet to decision. So in this fight, I have Alan Joe Ban via decision.